A wet mess turning into a swampy mess. Residents in a Jefferson County neighborhood tell us spring is bringing a new set of issues tied to a persistent water leak. That problem is centered in Imperial's Country Haven neighborhood. News 4 first began investigating the issue over the winter. Ashley Lincoln is live this evening. And Ashley, why is the county saying they can't do anything about this? Well, Steve, today we actually found out that this entire neighborhood sits on top of a natural spring. Water has been continuing to seep through the ground. You can see the ripples of water going down the street right here. And residents say it's been a nightmare for them to deal with this, but both the county and the HOA tells us it's not much they can do. I am still dealing with the river in front of my house. Country Haven stream isn't from the weekend rain. My backyard is flooded. And now we know it's not a broken pipe. I'm tired of it. News 4 first began investigating the stream of water in January when it created ice patches. Now spring has sped up the flow of water. And I can't even cut the grass. There's just so much water coming down through there. Since our January report, Jefferson County Public Works discovered Country Haven sits atop a natural spring. And because this is private property, the county says they cannot fix this problem. I've tried to fix the problem, but there's just so much water. Now the responsibility falls on the homeowners association. But residents say that's falling on deaf ears. Nobody knows where the money is going. And he tells us there is no money and that this is nature. I went by the HOA's president's house. Turn the camera off. David Weebles wasn't receptive to our camera at first, but later agreed to tell us his side. I can't make the water go away. He says the homeowners association simply doesn't have enough money to stop the water. I can't fix that. Nobody can. It's not like it's a broken pipe. Weeble says at best the association has $15,000 on hand. If I had a million dollars, I could not stop that water. It's just frustrating. And I don't know what to do. We're about to move out of the subdivision. And it seems residents are stuck. This homeowner who lives here tells me it's hard for her to get her mail because all of the water has caused for algae to grow right here in this area. Now, residents do tell me they plan to have a meeting come May 4th with county leaders, and they hope some sort of solution comes out of that meeting. We will keep you posted. Reporting live in Imperial, Ashley Lincoln, News 4.